Welcome, everybody. It is Crypto Moose, and it's time to get loose. Mitchell Bouchard, your crypto and NFT investor. What we're going to do on this episode is I'm going to teach you how to withdraw your crypto from a online exchange and how to send your tokens to your Tangium. So I've done a few videos on Tangium. By the way, check out the link tree, save up to 25% off. We'll cover that at the end of this video. What I'm going to do is I'm going to show you step by step how to send assets from any online exchange to this. We're going to be using Coinbase and I have done uh, videos on the wallet setup as well as the unboxing. So I've been noticing some comments that people are like, why did you make this video if you can't show me how to receive? So that's what we're going to do. So I'm screen recording on my phone so you can see everything on my cell phone and we're going to be using Tangium. So I'm going to log in and of course, all you have to do is scan your card. And if you do not have a Tangium, check out the link down in the description. Use coupon code Moose. So we're gonna log in, just gotta scan the card and then put in the password and then voila. So here you can see what I have. I've got a bit of Bitcoin, um, not much else. I have a little bit of Tether. And what we're gonna do is add some Cardano. Reason being Cardano is typically cheaper um, to withdraw than other assets. So what I've done, and typically I don't use online exchanges. Um, as you all know, I like using uh, my Trezor and my Ledger in my Tangium. Those are my three wallets. So I'm usually using DEXs, right? Um, but a lot of you are going to use something like Binance or Coinbase. And the way you do this, I'll say it right now, you want to withdraw your funds to your public address. What's great about a Tangium is that, let's say you have some Cardano on Coinbase. So we're gonna be picking some up. Instead of having your ADA on Coinbase, meaning you don't own your keys. So if Coinbase ever goes down, you don't own that Cardano, you can pick up a Tangium or a hardware wallet. And because you own the mnemonic seed phrase, it's an encrypted version of your keys. You're the one that owns it and you can sign transactions. So when you set up something like a Coinbase, you are using their interface with the login. And yeah, you can get access to your crypto, but technically they own your keys because with Coinbase, they will custody your crypto for you. So you want to self custody, have a non-custodial wallet, meaning that you are responsible for your keys. So let's get into this. So I don't use this very often, but I sent 20 bucks Canadian in this account. So let's pick up a little bit of Cardano. So it should be down here, something like that, where I can type it in. So let's take a look. Let's go to buy and sell. So right here, I'm going to use my 20 bucks and I'm going to buy some ADA. So we should be able to just do max or do 20 bucks. Let's see here. So preview buy, invest weekly, so buy now. So once we have our Cardano, we're gonna to want to withdraw to our public address. So I even have a little thing on my phone here. It says that you bought some Cardano, which we did. From the homepage, all you're gonna do is go to your assets, similar to what you would do on Binance or another exchange. And your goal is to withdraw or send. So if we go here, we could swap, send. We're gonna go to send. You may see withdraw, but we're just gonna click on send. That should work. And we're gonna do max. So we will have 21.45 ADA. Currently I have nothing in ADA on this phone. So right now I have zero on this. So very easy to see. And we're gonna go to select recipient. So here we've got some past transactions. I've done it in the past. So what we're gonna do is paste our address or phone number here. So what you're gonna do is paste your public address. So if you go on your phone, okay, I'm gonna to go to Cardano and this is the way I would do it. We're gonna to go to receive. 
Now, you could either scan this QR code with this desktop situation that I'm using, probably not gonna work. So the QR code represents this ADDR. That's your public address. QR code represents those numbers. So we're going to copy, and I'm just gonna send it to my notes app. So here I'm just gonna write Cardano, Cardano Tangem, and I'm just going to paste my notes. If you're someone that doesn't use your notes app, you can email your public address. There is no risk of losing your crypto by doing this. Your public address is like an email or phone number. Someone can call you, but they don't get access to what you own or what you have. So that's just a simple way to break it down. Okay, so now from my notes app, I can open this up on my desktop. What you can also do instead is just send your public address to yourself via email. So whatever your email is, just send yourself an email and put in this as a reply, your public address. So it's the exact same thing. The goal is so that you can copy paste it from your computer. So we're gonna copy and paste that right here. Okay, so it ends in DH, so CDH. So we're just gonna click on that. And we're just gonna double check things, make sure it looks good on your phone. So take your time, double, triple check. And everything looks good here. And we're sending, if you wanna receive, hit receive, but we're sending or withdrawing. So preview send, uh, self custody wallet, sure we'll put that in. Take about five minutes, so send now. Perfect. So now on my phone, I can see, are you trying to send crypto? And I'm just gonna tap to approve this. That's how you're gonna do this using your desktop. What you can also do is go to your Tangem, go to receive, and you can copy the address. And now we're just gonna go to the Coinbase app. This could be Binance or a different centralized exchange. You could also do this with Binance or another online exchange. Okay, so you can also send it from your app. As you can see here, we now have this transaction pending. So once this goes through, it should take about five minutes, um, depending on your online exchange. Uh, just make sure that you, know, you check out how long it should take. Typically, they will tell you. Okay, so it's been about two minutes. And what I'm gonna do is go back to Tangem. So we're just going to sign in. We're gonna scan our card. I'm gonna put in my password. And we're gonna scan one more time. So now we'll let it load. And there we go. We now have $13 worth of Cardano USD. So we've got 21.26 ADA. And that is how you withdraw or send tokens from your online exchange to your Tangem wallet. Um, keep in mind that if you are sending Binance, make sure that you are sending Binance to Binance. Same with Ethereum. Um, typically, it's not going to work unless you're doing that. Um, but always try to keep a little bit of extra tokens of your layer one because that's what you're going to use for your gas fees. So looks like the light died. So it's time to go. If you guys do want to pick up a Tangem, go to the link tree, click on buy Tangem, use coupon code Moose. It will already be in there for you um, if you use the link that I have. So we will see you all in the next one.